welcome back to another video um so today by the title you can tell it's going to be kind of a controversial video because i'm going to be talking about rinse out conditioners as stylers and the reason that i say this might be a little controversial is because most rinse out conditioners especially rinse out conditioners at the drugstore have silicone in them and i know a lot of people do not like using silicones in their hair but i haven't really had any issues with using silicones in my hair over the past few years from me transitioning to natural and then to me being fully natural i have recently revisited this little trick that i used to do just to stretch some of my stylers a little bit longer because i know stylers can get quite expensive but i started doing this trick a few years ago when i started transitioning and i started buying natural hair products and i used to try to stretch my little two three hundred dollar paycheck as much as i could and i used to spend a lot of money on stylers and i clearly have a lot of hair and i'm pretty heavy-handed with product i don't know if you guys remember when the miss jessie's like curly meringue and curly pudding were in those jars super super expensive i used to spend like half my paycheck on those and i will only get like two to three uses out of them so it was becoming way too expensive so i was co-washing and conditioning one day and one day i just decided to leave my conditioner in and i was like wait my hair is kind of defined i kind of like this so since then i started sometimes incorporating my rinse out conditioners as stylers i get if silicones aren't for you if you don't really like them on your hair then this video probably will not be for you but for me personally silicones kind of coat my hair in a way like kind of protects it um and i found that over the years that my hair actually likes silicones so so many people have had a negative connotation with silicones but i just feel like it depends on your hair type and your hair porosity so one size does not fit all and you don't have to do exactly what everybody else is doing you have to find what works for you and this has worked for me for a very very long time and it's super beneficial to your bank account and i noticed when i would use my rinse out conditioners as stylers that my hair would have a lot less breakage and i know this because i started doing this at the beginning of my hair journey when i started growing my hair out that's very telling to me as far as using rinse out conditioners with silicones in them that they have not done anything bad for my hair if anything i feel like they've benefited my hair over the past few years doing this trick i have tried a ton a ton of conditioners um as leave-ins and all of them have not worked like some of them would leave residue some of them would leave like little like white balls or flakes or something in my hair so all of them have not worked like you i couldn't just walk into a drugstore and pick up any conditioner and think it's going to work as a styler like i've tested these out for years and i know that these work for me as far as using them as a styler and all of these also i've used as co-washes as well and regular rinse out conditioners which is what they're technically for but yeah so i only have five here to share with you today because like i said a lot of the rinse out conditioners that i've tried this trick on have not worked <laughs> so that's what i'm that's why i'm telling you like all of them are not created equal as far as stylers because that's not what they're meant for this is just something that i discovered they helped me save a lot of money on stylers and i noticed helped me grow my hair out in a weird way so yeah so the first one i'm gonna show you guys is an og like if you have been following me and kendra's channel from the very beginning like blue room beginning then you already have seen this product you've heard us talk about it for years this is the herbal essences hello hydration moisturizing conditioner y'all i have been using this for so many years i think i've been using this conditioner for maybe nine years maybe ten a very long time so i started using this at the beginning of my natural hair journey when i started um, transitioning and this is the first product that i use where i start to see my curls kind of like get juicy and actually start to form and i start to actually see ringlets so this is the big bottle i prefer a pump because this lasts me way longer and i can use as much as i want so this to me works really well as a leave-in as well to like go in first to like finger detangle and it works to me as a styler so i like to use this along with other rinse out conditioners so this is a really good starter product like if this is the first thing that you put in your hair i promise you it's going to make detangling a whole lot easier if you don't like coconut oil or like any coconut oil based product you're probably not going to like this because this does have coconut in it but i have found that this works amazing on my curls like i said this is probably one of the first conditioners that i used as a styler and i was extremely shook like when i first tried this and every time i smell it the smell is so nostalgic because uh, it just smells like vacation to me like it smells like vacation like when i would go to destin with my family some summers 
this smells like that to me so it's a very nostalgic smell i'm obsessed with this this is actually in my hair now i use this um, as a leave-in so i put this in my hair first for this particular wash and go and it worked amazing to finger detangle and as you can see my hair is like super defined and it's super freaking soft and it's super bouncy so i mean the proof the proof is in the hair next is another og product i've been using this brand for years but i've also been using this particular line from this brand for years this is the Grenade fruities sleek and shine fortifying conditioner so kendra and i used to use this on our straight hair we used to use this to straighten our hair so this was one of our favorite drugstore um shampoo and conditioner sets that we would get from the drugstore when we were straightening our hair because i'm not gonna lie sometimes we didn't always go to ulta to get like red can or joyco sometimes we would go to the drugstore and get granny for teeth or we use dove to blow out and flatter in our hair and this was one of the lines that we used and maybe it was like four or five years ago that i actually started to try this line on my curls and i was just like i'm just curious to see how it works um, on my curls because this does have active fruit protein in it so i just wanted to see how it worked on my curls again i was shook so i used this in this wash and go as well so i put this in my hair after the herbal essences conditioner then i put a oil in between the thank god it's natural oil and then i use this as my cream um for leave-in oil cream the log method i still enjoy that method it works really well for my hair and um for reference i do have medium porosity if you guys are curious about my porosity but this is a big factor in how you pick products for your hair a lot of people only focus on hair tight but i feel like hair porosity is just as important if not more important when you're choosing products for your hair one thing i will say if you're going to be using a rinse out conditioner as a styler the finger coiling method that i've been loving this summer like with my gels and stuff does not work well with these conditioners so i have to resort back to my old school prayer hands you know so I prefer the per hand method with these conditioners. And my hair has to be soaking wet for my curls to be defined when using these. Because some of my stylers, I can get away with using them on damp hair, like some of my regular stylers, because a lot of them are water-based. Um, these have water in them too, of course, but I just find that they work a lot better with the per hand technique and on soaking wet hair. So yeah, because I was trying to do like my finger coiling technique when um, i was using this so i was like oh let me try my new favorite technique on one of my um, old conditioners and it was not working that great so i had to resort back to my prayer hand technique and it clumped the curls beautifully with these conditioners this is probably one of my favorite conditioners to use as a styler mostly because my hair always comes out so defined so soft it's soft and defined now with the herbal essence and the garnier conditioners like those work beautifully together because that's what's in my hair now but this aussie moist mega moisture conditioner this works beautifully on my curls if you guys watched i think my curly hair routine from like six years ago i used this in that video i used it as a leave-in and it works amazing so this is good to use with a cream um this is good to use with oils and this is good to use like by itself as well this is just a very versatile conditioner so i've been using this for a very long time i used to originally use this for co-washing purposes but now i just like to use it as a styler now when i co-wash i use a product that actually says co-wash on it from thank god it's natural it's amazing i love that stuff um but this is one of my favorites to style with because it clumps the curls so well and it like gives your curls a little bit of hang time like if you have a lot of shrinkage i feel like this is a really good conditioner to try if you do have a lot of shrinkage and i like i said i recommend using this on soaking wet hair depending on your hair porosity but for these conditioners they just work better if the hair is already hydrated first with water and then putting this on top just makes the curls so juicy i'm obsessed with this this is still by far one of my favorite conditioners of all time so yeah Ozzy Moist, Mega Moisture. Okay, next we're gonna take a little break from drugstore. Um, next, this is the Pattern Beauty Heavy Conditioner for Coilies. So this is the Big Pump. So this is also a rinse out conditioner. Um, and when I first tried this, I actually originally tried this as a styler. So I already knew when I was gonna try this that I was gonna leave it in my hair because um, it said heavy. And when I see anything that says heavy because my hair is super thick, I'm like, oh, this don't weigh my curls down really, really nice. I was pleasantly surprised when I used this as a styler because it does say to rinse out or to leave in for 10 minutes as a reparative treatment mask. 
but I, I didn't do that. So I just sectioned my hair like I normally would and left this in. And I must say that this defined my curls beautifully. Did an amazing job. Um, so this, I feel like it's one of the thickest conditioners out of all the like conditioners that I just mentioned. Like this is super, super thick. Um, it's the reason this says heavy on the packaging because this is a heavy conditioner. So if you don't really like heavy products, then you're not gonna like this. It obviously says heavy, but this does an amazing job at defining the curls. And it's really good for finger detangling as well and adding um, a really good amount of moisture to the hair. Now there's a difference between hydration and moisture. I feel like a lot of people get confused with the two. Hydration draws moisture in. Anything that's hydrating is gonna make the curls extra juicy. Anything that's moisturizing is gonna lock in the hydration. So moisture locks in hydration. So a lot of people get confused and think they're the same thing, they're not. Just remember that moisture locks in hydration. So you always wanna hydrate before you moisturize. Kind of the same thing when you're doing like your skincare routine. You're not gonna use like a serum on top of your moisturizer. You're gonna finish with your moisturizer. I think that was like the whole point of like the lock method, like leave-in oil cream. Um, you always wanna use like a lighter product first and then seal it in with something that's a little bit thicker and occlusive. So this is really good to do a lock method with, I feel like. So this, I would consider a cream low key because it's very thick and it works beautifully by itself and with other products. Okay, back to a drugstore product. Y'all, that's my roots when it comes to shopping for curly hair products. I'm not gonna lie, I love a good beauty supply store run. But Kendra says I have a problem. I always black out when I go into the beauty supply store. So I go a little less crazy when I go into the drugstore most of the time. This is another OG product. This is from OGX. This is the Extra Strength Damage Remedy Plus Coconut Miracle Oil Conditioner. So this is another really good, like lightweight product to use as a styler. So this is good for like, if you're like not going anywhere and you want your hair to be defined but you don't want to use the good stuff this is something just to slap in your hair and your hair will still look pretty and bouncy and soft and it does give some definition which i do really like about this conditioner so this gives a softer hold so if you like soft hold stylers then you would really like this i'm not gonna lie with this one because it is so lightweight i do use like half the bottle in like one wash and go but it's honestly not that big of a deal because it's not that expensive. So that was the whole purpose of me originally trying out rinse out conditioners as stylers because I was trying to like stretch my other expensive stylers. It helps to repair, soften, and revive strands. I said my hair be soft when I use this. Um, Discover Silky Soft Island Girl Hair. Um, so yeah, this just does a beautiful job at detangling your hair too. So if your hair is super tangled, this works beautifully with finger detangling or if you like to use a wide tooth comb or a tangle teaser brush. But with this, you're probably only gonna need your fingers because this has amazing slip. So out of all of these conditioners, I do recommend this one the most as a leave-in versus a styler. So this would be good to slap in first and then go in with one of the other conditioners as your styler. So I'm not gonna lie, it is harder to get products that aren't meant to be stylers to work as stylers. And that's where your technique comes in. That's why I mentioned the whole prayer hand technique. Um, because I know those girls who love gels, a lot of the times the gel does the work for you. But when you're using a product that's not meant to define your curls, you kind of have to put the work in a little bit more. But it's worth it in the end because like my hair always turns out so pretty. Every time I use any of these as stylers. So if you've been wanting to use like more like hydrating products in your hair routine, I highly recommend giving these conditioners a try as stylers. I promise you won't be disappointed. And even if you don't like them as stylers, they still work beautifully as leave-in conditioners. So just give them a try and see which way you like them. That's the whole beauty in having curly hair. You can just like mix and match products to see what works for you and experiment. So it's a beautiful process. I just love having curly hair. It's so fun most of the time. It's a lot of work, but it is fun. So let me know which one of these you guys already use and let me know which one of these you guys are looking forward to trying. I will have a full list of all these linked in the description box. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all next time.